Mr. Huxley has recently returned from a conference at the Institute for the Study of Democratic Institutions in Santa Barbara, where the discussion focused on the development of new techniques by which to control and direct human behavior. Traditionally, it has been possible to suppress individual freedom through the application of physical coercion, through the appeal of ideology, uh, through the manipulation of man's physical and social environment, and more recently through the uh, techniques, the cruder techniques of psychological conditioning. The ultimate revolution about which Mr. Huxley will speak today concerns itself with the development of new behavioral controls which operate directly upon the psychophysiological organisms of man. First of all, the, uh, I'd like to say that the conference of Santa Barbara was not directly concerned with the control of the mind. Well, now, in regard to this problem of, uh, of the ultimate revolution, uh, this has been very well summed up by the moderator. Uh, in the past, we can say that uh, all revolutions have essentially aimed at changing uh, the environment in order to change the individual. I mean, there's been the uh, political revolution, the economic revolution. Uh, in the time of the Reformation, the religious revolution. Uh, all these uh, aimed, as I say, not directly at the human being, but at his surroundings, so that by modifying the surroundings, you did achieve uh, in, at one remove uh, an effect upon the human being. Today, uh, we are faced, I think, with the approach of what may be called the ultimate revolution, the final revolution, where a man can act directly on the mind body of his fellow. Well, needed to say, some kind of direct action on human mind bodies has been going on since the beginning of time. generally been uh, of a violent nature. The techniques of terrorism have been known from time immemorial, and uh, well, people have employed them with more or less uh, ingenuity, sometimes with uh, the utmost crudity, sometimes with a, a good deal of skill inquire, uh, acquired uh, by a process of trial and error, of finding out what the best ways of uh, using torture, imprisonment, uh, of various kinds. Uh, but uh, as um, I think it was Metternich said uh, many years ago, uh, you can do everything with bayonets except sit on them. Uh, that if you are going to control any population for any length of time, you must have some measure of consent. It's exceedingly difficult to see uh, how pure terrorism can function indefinitely. It can function for a fairly long time, but I think uh, sooner or later you have to bring in an element of persuasion, an element of, of getting people to consent to what is happening to them. Well, it, it seems to me that the, the nature of the ultimate revolution with which we are now faced is precisely this, uh, that we are in process of developing a whole series of techniques which uh, will enable the controlling oligarchy, have always existed and presumably always will exist, uh, to get people actually to love their
Yes, uh, this is the, seems to me the, the ultimate uh, in malevolent revolution, shall we say. And uh, this is a this is a problem which uh, has interested me for many years, and about which I wrote uh, 30 years ago a fable, the Brave New World, which is uh, essentially the account of society making use of all the devices at that time available and some of the devices which uh, uh, I imagined to be possible, uh, making use of them in order to, first of all, to standardize the population, to iron out uh, inconvenient human dis uh, uh, differences, uh, to create, uh, so to say, mass-produced uh, models of human beings arranged uh, in some kind of a scientific uh, caste system. And uh, since then, I have uh, con continued to be extremely interested uh, in this problem, and I have noticed uh, with increasing dismay that uh, a number of the predictions which were purely fantastic when I made them 30 years ago uh, have uh, come true or, or seem in process of coming true. That, uh, number of techniques about which I talk seem to be here already.